Right, so I'm missing one camera there and I will go and show you what the fault is. Right, so the IP camera is using the Ethernet like that and some people are not using this 12 volt jack and the reason being is they're getting the power over Ethernet via the Ethernet cable. Now, in my case, the camera is going on and off and on and off and on, under closer inspection, I found this little problem and I'm going to zoom in and show you what had happened here. Now, if you have a look here, you can see there is little bits of green sediment here and if I clean it out, you'll actually see something quite surprising. Yes, those are ants, and ants have crawled in here and reduced the dielectric between the positive and the negative, and you can see the green here, that is the oxidation. So what this means is that it reduces the dielectric strength between the positive and the negative, and what does that mean in terms of voltage? I'll show you. Here is my voltmeter, and at the camera, when I took a voltage measurement, I only got seven and a half volts. And what had happened is it was almost shorting out the connector here. While on the switch side, if I measured the voltage coming out of the switch, I'd get 12 volts. But here at the camera, it was below eight volts because of these ants and uh, various other sediment that had got in this 12 volt jack, therefore reducing the voltage, therefore causing the camera to go on and offline. At times the camera would come back on and at times it would go off. In my case, all I did is I cut this off and then sealed the loose wires. Right, so in conclusion, uh, make sure that your DC adapter, if you're not using it, seal it, close it, or cut it off, because in my case, you can see all, all these ants caused the dielectric strength to reduce and caused a volt drop, meaning I was actually overloading my switch